English idioms and idiomatic expressions. Lists of well-known English idioms used in everyday conversations, with their meaning. What are idioms? Idioms are words, phrases or expressions which are commonly used in everyday conversation by native speakers of English. Learning the most well-known idioms will help make your English sound more fluent. Accidentally on purpose. If you do something intentionally, but pretend it was an accident, you do it accidentally on purpose. I accidentally on purpose erased his email address, so I couldn't contact him again. Add fuel to the flames. If you add fuel to the flames, you do or say something that makes a difficult situation even worse. He forgot their wedding anniversary, and his apologies only added fuel to the flames. All ears. To say that you are all ears means that you are listening very attentively. Of course I want to know, I'm all ears. Answer the call of nature or answer nature's call. When a person answers the call of nature, they go to the toilet. I had to get up in the middle of the night to answer the call of nature. Backseat driver. A passenger in a car who gives unwanted advice to the driver is called a backseat driver. I can't stand backseat drivers like my mother-in-law. Badger someone. If you badger someone into doing something, you persistently nag or pester them until you obtain what you want. Sophie badgered her parents into buying her a new computer. Bear your heart or soul. If you bear your soul, or heart, to someone, you reveal your innermost thoughts and feelings to them. Mike couldn't keep things to himself any longer. He decided to bear his soul to his best friend. Bark up wrong tree. A person who is barking up the wrong tree is doing the wrong thing, because their beliefs or ideas are incorrect or mistaken. The police are barking up the wrong tree if they think Joey stole the car, he can't drive. Be one's best bet. The action most likely to succeed is called one's best bet. Your best bet would be to try calling him at home. Bide your time. If you bide your time, you wait for a good opportunity to do something. He's not hesitating, he's just biding his time, waiting for the price to drop. Balancing Act. When you try to satisfy two or more people or groups who have different needs, and keep everyone happy, you perform a balancing act. Many people, especially women, have to perform a balancing act between work and family. Bite hand that feeds you. If you bite the hand that feeds you, you are unfriendly or do harm to someone who is kind to you. If you say bad things about the person who gives you a job, you bite the hand that feeds you. Blot one's copybook. Someone who blots their copybook does something to spoil their good record or reputation. He blotted his copybook when he was arrested for speeding. On the bottle. A person who drinks alcohol often and regularly is on the bottle. John went on the bottle when he lost his job. Break every rule in the book. If you behave in a completely unacceptable way, you break every rule in the book. Our competitors obtain the contract by breaking every rule in the book. Breathe down somebody's neck. If someone is breathing down your neck, they are watching you too closely and making you feel uncomfortable. The atmosphere at work is not great. The boss keeps breathing down our necks all the time. Burn your bridges. If you burn your bridges, you do something that will be impossible to rectify in the future. 
If you refuse the offer, be careful not to burn your bridges by insulting them. They may make a better proposal later. Burn your fingers. If you burn your fingers, or get your fingers burnt, you suffer financially as a result of foolish behavior. Jack got his fingers burnt playing on the stock market. See you in part 2.